<laughs> What's guys up to a brand new video? We are having another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 20 that he like uh, Ed's just come across. I believe we haven't actually I, I, well, I'm guessing so. It's his dad. His dad's by his mother's grave, I'm pretty sure. And it's the first time we're gonna actually see them interact with each other. Even with his little flashbacks, I don't see them interacting with each other once. If you guys are new to the channel and enjoy Full Metal Alchemist and want to see the full uncut reaction, check the link down below for the Patreon. Anyway, let's get started. Let's see where this is gonna go. I'm, I'm curious. Of course he has. With who? But how does he not know already? Were you here anymore? Damn. I know this. Tell me, Andrew. What possessed you to burn down that thing? Oh, I'd be like, fuck you. Happened, we vowed to never turn back. We did it as a symbol of our resolve. No, you didn't. Oh. You were hiding the memory. You didn't want to be reminded of what you'd done and thought you could erase the memory by destroying the evidence. Jesus, his dad is intimidating. It's just like a child who hides the sheets after he wets the bed. Is it? Where you been? I'll be like, where you been? Where were you? Hmm, I want to know more about him. Father before the grave. Oh, we going back? Oh no, okay. Wait, what? So he's staying with him? That is a bit creepy, considering he hasn't seen him in like, I don't know how long it's been, but... Oh, that's where they're staying, okay. That's who was talking about. That's who told him. I've got the name. Where's he been? Thank you. The life form my son transmuted. Oh. Are you positive that it was Trisha? Jesus. Did it, it... Oh my God. He is dark. I'm telling you, he's not what I asked him for. Dark. Did you notice the eye color or the hair color? What are you trying to get at? Exactly. Oh. Why is he? Why is he saying that? He ignored the question. So that one. So I'm just gonna pause it there. So there's. Wait, what the? F why does he look so weird? I'm guessing he's getting his armor fixed. Basically, what I'm saying is he ignored the question about where you've been. Straight to the point. He's started talking about that. But why is he saying that? Because he knows he's not stupid. That's why the dog went out there. He knows. Um. Ed's listening, so I'm interested to find out more. Also, the... I'm just going to write some more stuff down. A time bomb. That's what they're trying to do. That's a good point. She just wants him back to normal, but I'm, I know where he's coming from. Winry? It's Ling, Ling isn't it? Ling Ling. Ling. <laughs> well, it's not Ling Ling, but Ling. He looks quite cool with like a mask over the face. I know. You and brother always got to be the first to explode. <laughs> to be the one to get mad. <laughs> he does have like, he, he never really seemed to get angry, do you, Al? Oh. Does it, I wonder if you need, like, he wants to sleep. Like, I wonder if he gets tired. I think they say he doesn't get tired. But does he want to sleep? I'm guessing he does. This is a... Ooh. Is this a... Dr yeah. Ooh. Oh! This dude! Oh. Terrifying episode that was. I got chills just there. Where's he going now? He didn't answer where he's been. That's the main question. I need to tell you something important. Banako. I need to write her name down. Banako, because I forgot what it was. Something terrible is going to happen in your country soon if you escape. This country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you my word. Because he he's an evil man. Hohenheim. Hohenheim. I'll write that down as well. Hohenheim. Oh my god. 
What's he freaking planning? He's not even gone out to see him. Also, how the hell do you spell Hohenheim? Is he going to check the body? Oh, they're digging. Oh, they. Oh. My stumps, is that what he said? Oh, here we go. What's this going to turn out to be? Of course, it's going to rain. I'm getting chills. Like, is he. Why is... Why is he being sick? What happened? What am I forgetting? Why is he so... Also, why is he not using alchemy to do that stuff? <laughs> hmm. His dad's got to him. Here we go. Damn, they're going to town. I'm assuming he's being sick because he's digging up his mum's grave. And it's a bit... Oh my god, that'll mess with you mentally. Because I don't remember him being injured in the last episode. They have no clue where they're buried at, they? Because they've dug everywhere. They have no clue where they're digging. I oh, know, I guess it is, what, six feet under? That is not six feet, but... Is that hair? Oh. So what did they bring back? What did they make? Isn't that a... Oh... Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Guess what I'm thinking here. I was gonna say, surely it's a good thing because they didn't bring their mum back. Oh. No. Something's not right here. And how did he dad how did his dad know this? But now he knows it's not his mum. Look at him. <sighs> All right, well, I want to know more about the dad. I'm surprised he didn't figure out this sooner. I didn't expect this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, he's gonna obviously. Oh shit. What's she gonna say? Him? Oh. That's dark. That is dark to ask anyone. Oh, she put it down. Is she going to go and check now? Or does she already know? I don't remember seeing them at all, did we? Rock bells. So that's her family. Hohenheim. Oh my god, I thought... I thought she was having a freaking heart attack. <laughs> Oh god, what was it? I couldn't keep my promise. I died before he did. I was close to someone else. Oh, that was the promise, okay. Sorry to ask, but could you pass it on if you bump into it? What is it, Connor? I have to. I know it doesn't seem possible, but he does care about you, I have to wonder. I would be like, no, he doesn't. He's not here. Unless he's doing something good, but I can't see he is. He's doing something bad. What the hell? What? Oh, yeah, say, how is he this? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, I literally, I totally forgot what happened. I was like, he hasn't done anything. I totally forgot last episode, Lust died and all that stuff. A lot of shit happened last episode. Damn. Forgot about all of that. I say, it's a good idea. That's a smart idea, what Ling said. I love it. I'll laugh. I've got his name wrong. No, oh, don't say that. Told you I'm gonna get it back. I wonder if he's gonna mention that he saw his dad. Here we go. Oh! You need to explain a bit more than just that. Why would you do that? Found out that the thing you buried wasn't really your mom. That's a lot to take in. Then that means... Did they waste... No one knows. But you know what? It was something completely different. Then what happened to me? That's yeah, exactly. Is actually convinced me we can return to mom as well. How? Before I start explaining how. Thank you. Do you remember when Al and I got in a fight when we were kids about I should marry you? <laughs> random. <laughs> random. Yeah, that one. Al okay. Said you turned him down. Turned you both down. <laughs> so the question for both of you is, what was your reasoning? Reasoning. I guess I don't like men who are shorter than me. Can't judge a man for something he can't help. Exactly. Oh. 
know you remembered something real, and we also know for a fact that really is Al bonded in you. Oh. Well, it was only in soul. That's just it. Pulled something out with him, okay. That much of you out, then I've got a hunch that your body's still in there, and I can pull it out. Oh, what they? What is he planning to do, though? Exactly. Oh, it's gonna be meant like if it's, it is, it's gonna be f fucked up, isn't it? Oh, here we go. We're going deep. Hmm. Keep going. That was that meant to be him when he's older. Maybe that, that wasn't his, like... Oh. They've got... they got some things... Oh, is that... That's the woman, isn't it? Here we go. Oh. He is. What was they bringing back, though? That's the thing. What was it? Ah, I guess it's like a bit of relief, like yes, knowing, like you, like she hasn't wait, she didn't waste it, she didn't miss her opportunity because it's impossible. Thank you. <laughs> like what I just said, I think anyway. Finally, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I've wrote it down. We'll talk about it at the end. I feel like I've been brought back to life. <laughs> I'm trying not to look at me or cry because of you. Thank you. This is literally what I was going to put. Well, how's this going to end, though? None of this changes the fact that I'm the one who put you in this body. I was right there with you, and I knew that there were risks. So quit trying to shoulder all of this on your own. Damn, that was good. I can't watch you suffer like this. I can't just stand back and watch other people get hurt over what I'm getting chilled. This is good. <laughs> Give each other a hug. My fault when I found out he was dead, and I told myself that if it meant other people getting hurt, then I don't even want my body back. Respect. Got respect for that. Here we go. I've met other people who weren't exactly human, and even in this body, it hasn't stopped other people from treating me like I'm still human. That's very true. This body could reject me anytime. Oh, is Winry listening to this? Oh, Anling. Oh. Give him a hug. That's what he needs. I can't take all the nights by myself. Oh. It's too lonely, and that's why I have to get back to normal. Sure. Damn. It's because he can't sleep, like everyone else. What's she gonna say? Weird. What? Have his shoulders always been so broad? What? What does that even? What? What? How would you notice that? Is that because I'm guessing it's full of confidence? Maybe I don't know. There's a lot to unravel here. First and foremost, that's a good episode. That was that had a lot coming in, and I like that little bit about um, uh, right at the end. But we'll go through it from the start, shall we? <laughs> um, the dad. Something is not right about the dad. As soon as we mentioned, sorry, as soon as the old woman mentioned, where you been? Straight away turned it and how they like, turned it to something completely different. Didn't answer the question. We still don't know where he's been. Don't know where he's gone. Um, straight away turned the question to that creature. Are you sure it was like his mum? I forgot her name as well. My bad. Which is weird that he would know. How would he know? To ask that even that question, like why would he know that? Unless he's done, like maybe he's seen someone do it, or maybe a few times, or something along them lines. Because how would else would he have known to like make sure that is definitely the body, kind of thing, um, which is ridiculous. Also, another thing, I surely this might come up, but the what's it called? The symbol in Owl's body. He said, literally, as long as I protect this, I'm pretty much indestructible, I'm guessing. What if someone just wipes it off? Easy, like the white girl who like jumped in his body could have easily just wiped it off by accident. I don't know what it is. It's like, 
it was probably paint or something like that, he could have easily rubbed off and he could have died. So, so that will come into play at some point, which is crazy. And <laughs> I wrote down why th the thank you and then it sort of popped up. And it's exactly what I said. So basically, Al, what my, my theory is anyway, guys, is Al and uh, Al and Ed, and obviously their teacher as well, have all been guilty, feeling guilty because, like the woman said, she brought her ch her child passed away, and suffered. I'm guessing I don't know. Basically, tried to revive them, and then. They literally die straight away again. So you've brought them back to life to die again, which is guilt anyway. And then there's also the added guilt like, oh my God, I must have done something wrong for this not to work. Like if this is possible, because they all thought that was their body, but they must have messed something up. That's why they died straight away. So the guilt of that, plus the guilt of bringing them back to life just to die again, is what has come off their shoulders. So that's probably why Ed, right at the end there, is like, like a new man he's like he's lifted so much weight off his shoulders he feels good he feels great kind of thing that makes any sense that's what i'm thinking anyway but oh <sighs> what an episode i like that that's really good it'd be interesting to find out what happens with um his dad that's what the one thing i'm looking forward to i want to know where his dad's gone where where's he been but other than that guys that's gonna be it if you enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And also, actually, before I think of that, Al, right at the end there, everyone goes to sleep at night. And he's the only one who is awake every single night on his own. And he's just getting lonely, which makes a lot of sense. Because I did say at one point, does he sleep? He doesn't get tired, does he? He physically can't sleep. So I'm guessing maybe mentally or spiritually, he might get a bit like, oh, my God, I wish I could sleep right now. Just, you know, just to relax. But he can't even do that. So it's added added incentive for him to get his body back but yeah that's gonna be it guys hope you'll enjoy and i'll speak to you soon